Hi, welcome back. It's Azim again. In the previous video tutorial, we learned about how we can use our existing Java code in Gotlink project. And uh, some of you guys might be thinking, you know what? I don't want to use Java code anymore. If I'm going to write a Kotlin project, then I will write only Kotlin code. That makes sense. Designers of Kotlin language also provide this feature. You can convert your Java code to equivalent Kotlin code. So for example, you have some classes written in Java and now you want to upgrade your application. For example, you are Android developer and you just want to upgrade your application to this uh, new language. You can use JetBrains official converter to convert your existing Java code into Kotlin code. So that's what we are going to do in this video. In the previous video tutorial, we wrote this program and we wrote this Java class and we use this Java class in our Kotlin file. But now in this video, we are going to convert this class to our equivalent Kotlin class. So to convert this file, open the file that you want to convert, go to this code menu, then at the end you will see this link, convert Java file to Kotlin file. Click on it and there you go you have your file and you guys can see that we wrote so many code in Java but in Kotlin language you can see that code is reduced to these 10 lines. So this is the another feature of Kotlin language. Kotlin language reduce boilerplate code for us. So let's try to run this. So we are successfully able to run our Kotlin project. So this is how you guys can convert your existing Java code into Kotlin code. Now some of you guys might be thinking, okay, what if I want to convert Kotlin code into Java code? There is no practical use case for this because there is no point to convert your Kotlin code into Java code. But if you guys want to convert your existing Kotlin file to Java file, then you can also do it. Just go to this tool window, Kotlin. Then click on this show Kotlin bytecode and it will show you this bytecode that is generated for us using Kotlin compiler. If you click on this decompile button, it will give you this Java file. And of course this is not exactly what we wrote in our Java file, but it will give you some idea what's going on in Java. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.